From unearthing the secrets of the Southern Nebula Ring to deep diving back in time, the James Webb Telescope has made some terrifying discoveries. And lucky for you, I've got a complete rundown of some of the most wicked ones so far. Starting off with the time, the telescope caught some insane protostars. Now ever since 2021, James Webb has been at the front and center of space discovery. Not only has it spotted the most distant galaxies, but it's also made some really spooky discoveries too. Sure, the Hubble Space Telescope literally narrowed down the universe's age and even helped astronomers find out how fast the universe is expanding and all, but it still couldn't quite capture the nitty-gritty details of the Great Big Beyond. That's where James Webb comes in. For those of you who don't know, the Pillars of Creation in the Eagle Nebula is one of the most iconic images taken by Hubble. It's a picture of interstellar gas and dust that looks like a bunch of elephant trunks and seems like a still straight out of a Marvel film. It's that majestic. But perhaps what the Hubble couldn't capture was the creation happening within them. However, James Webb's infrared imaging managed to get a closer look at the pillars. And turns out, those elephant trunks are actually numerous protostars that aren't even burning hydrogen yet. Cause if you zoom in on the picture, you'll actually see tiny red dots against a smoky backdrop that, in theory, are like a million times larger than our solar system. Those red dots are basically stars that are being born and have a temperature of about 3.5 million degrees, which will give more insight to researchers as to how stars form, including our sun. Although, that's not the only thing these discoveries will help us understand. In fact, re-imaging the Phantom Galaxy has revealed some interesting stuff too. Sure, it's kind of difficult to point to this marvel in the night sky, seeing how it's essentially invisible from afar. But previously, Hubble had done a great job capturing the galaxy's perfect spiral structure and its distribution of stars. However, then came James Webb, and boy did it kick things up a notch. The Webb image revealed a fiber-like structure, heat-emitting dust, and gas that came from a bright center within the galaxy that was rendered in a shade of vivid electric blue. The ghostly view of the Phantom Galaxy is pretty awesome that way. In fact, another reason why it's cool is because of the fact that the image is a result of both Hubble and James Webb's images. And by combining optical and infrared observations of the galaxy, scientists will now be able to understand how star-forming regions in the galaxy are scattered among the galaxy's spiral arms. Because of James Webb's crystal clear observation at longer wavelengths, astronomers can now locate such regions in the universe with high confidence too. Not only that, but they can also measure the masses and ages of these star clusters, and observe how these small grains of interstellar dust float in space. Sure, it might not be much for now, but hey, at least we're one mystery closer to solving what lies beyond our exosphere, like the Wolf Rayet star. Back in July 2022, the James Webb Telescope took an image of a distant star, called a Wolf Rayet star or stars, which typically are a set of unique celestial bodies that show broad emission lines of ionized helium nitrogen. But it wasn't Webb's signature diffraction pattern that caught astronomers' attention. In fact, when the star WR140 was closely examined, there were a couple of concentric rings surrounding it, almost like a ripple effect. These strangely shaped rings were also odd because they had a slightly boxy shape to them, which was something these scientists had never seen before. Now, Michael McCochran, who's an interdisciplinary scientist, said that while the six-pointed blue structure is most definitely an artifact, the red, curvy, yet boxy rings are not. They're very much real and are very much in space around a star. The thing about Wolf Rayet stars is that these massive bodies are often at the end of their lives, because they've already given out so much of their energy. So these mysterious boxy ripples are certainly interesting to see, because it could mean that the WR140 might have just interacted with its small companion star. Although, how it affects space and eventually us is still a mystery. Regardless, it's not the only time a James Webb discovery has terrified people. Remember the time we went back in time? Okay, sure, we didn't exactly go back in time, but the fact that James Webb was able to observe the most distant galaxies in the universe comes pretty close. Like, soon after the telescope was up and running, news broke out that scientists had discovered the thing that started it all. The James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. The telescope had officially observed six massive galaxies, 
which are perhaps the oldest in existence. These galaxies are said to have appeared about 13.4 billion years ago. For context, dinosaurs were extinct on Earth about 65 million years ago. So, if you do the math, that's one heck of a long time. Plus, considering the universe itself is like 350 million years old only, it's safe to say that James Webb stared the beginning of time right in its face. Now, naturally, scientists came forward with their theories about this. Almost everyone agreed that these galaxies were incredibly ancient, and that it was important to see just how fast they were moving away from Webb. For those of you who didn't take Astronomy 101 in college, this drift is basically called the galaxy's redshift, which tells us how many wavelengths of light that they shed have lengthened as the universe keeps expanding. For these galaxies, the redshift was a whopping 13.2, the highest that's ever been recorded. And according to an astrophysicist at UC Santa Cruz, Brant Robertson, it's the first time that humans have been able to find such distant galaxies. Which is true, by the way. James Webb has definitely come a long way. In fact, its recent observations have also shown scientists why the Southern Ring Nebula is not so ordinary after all. You see, this nebula was strange because it's basically the death shroud of a star that was once said to be three times the mass of the Sun. Now, the Southern Ring Nebula is a small, dense white dwarf and is basically half the mass of the Sun making it rather unremarkable for most scientists. However, with the help of the near-infrared camera and the mid-infrared instrument, researchers were able to identify that the white dwarf wasn't exactly invisible. In fact, it was glowing red and was surrounded by a haze of cool gas. Gas that no one had any idea where it had come from. From a logical point of view, most astronomers believe that there's a hidden third star that's the source of the gas. But even with a beast like Webb, it's surprising that there's no one that can point out the cause of this crimson glow with any confidence. However, I guess considering the telescope still just starting its cosmic journey, maybe, just maybe, we'll finally be able to find the third star. Although, between you and me, are these space discoveries honestly all that bad? Think of it this way. With the pillars of creation, we can actually learn way more about how the sun was formed, considering how the sun's a star and all. And thanks to the updated images of the Phantom Galaxy, astronomers might just be able to map out future galaxies and track down their patterns too. Plus, if it wasn't for James Webb, it wouldn't have been possible to see the Southern Ring Nebula in a new light, quite literally, and dive deeper into the possibility of a hidden third star. So, if you ask me, it's not all that bad that we now know more about space itself. Sure, it's kinda scary to know what could happen in space, considering space junk's already an issue. But if there comes a day when our existence is threatened by the big freeze, well, I just hope James Webb is there to nip it in the bud in time. There you have it. That's all for the most terrifying discoveries that James Webb Telescope has made so far.